All right, today we're going to go over the uh, newer AD360. I got these a few weeks ago. I got them at a bargain price. I got two for the price of one. Um, then the price went up shortly after, basically right after. Um, I was surprised I actually got them. But what comes in the box is the flash body itself, the tube, you have the hot shoe um, adapter, and then there is also a one that I mounted on here that is fit for your camera stand or light stand uh, shoe. It does come with a shoulder strap, battery charger, and reflector. What didn't come with this kit, I had to buy separate, was the two to one cable, which increases the recycling time by half. I got the flash tube cover, uh, cost me about $3. I did get the um, trigger set, cost me $28. Um, and of course it does come with a cord to power your unit. All right, so let me take this out of the box and um, set it all up on the table. I'll be right back. All right, now that we've pulled it out of the uh, box, Let's see what we got. I showed you the before that I have a newer trigger. It is mounted to the side of this flash head. The power pack says newer. Even the flash head says newer. The only thing that doesn't say newer on it is actually the two to one cable, which says Godox. Well, let's turn it on. On. Now you can control the power from here, or you can control the power from here. Uh, what I like about this, this thing is quick. It goes from off to one power, one to one power, and nothing flat. So, set this to half power. Let's do it. A couple test pops. You can count out the recycling time. I'm not gonna. It's not bad. Let's go to full power. Because anything below half power and full power is pretty much useless if you're uh, shooting out in full sun. Okay, let's hit test. And still, again, that's not bad, unless you're one of those uh, sports shooters and you need a lot of, a lot of speed and recycle time. Then this might not be for what you want. Um, portrait work and anything else that doesn't move a lot, that's a pretty good little unit. The remote takes AA batteries. Um, you can go online and watch other videos on all this other stuff. Basically, this two-in-one cable increases your recycling time uh, by half. So without this cable, the full power recycle time is going to be a lot faster, or a lot slower. When I got this unit, this unit was already at full power. I popped off probably 300 and something odd shots and it's still rated full power. This little unit here probably weighs about two uh, 580 EX2s. That's due to the uh, the capacitor that's in here to store the, the power for this unit. All in all, it's not a bad unit. I did get this for a lot cheaper than what it sells in the United States. I got two of these for the act, almost the exact same price as what I would have paid for in the United States. Um, shortly after that, the price increased. Once I get the T-bracket, I'll be able to test this with the Maxi Light and my favorite Octus. Uh, until then, pretty much all I could do is test it as a bare bulb flash or with a stock reflector. At about seven feet, I get F32 with a stock reflector without the diffuser panel on the front. I mean, that's pretty good high output, but 
I have not checked the quality of light, so that's a completely different thing. Uh, well, this is my uh, take of the AD360 by newer, or you can buy the Godox version, which is the AD360, or you can go and buy the US brand, which is the CL360. Thank you for watching, and you have yourself a lovely day.